Hello everyone and welcome. Today we're taking a look at expeditions. We're going to talk about ship morale and how to set up expeditions and look at the overall process and what you can expect from it. When you first enter the expedition screen, you'll see your available ships. You also notice these little morale bars on all of your ships. The morale bar depends on a few factors. It depends on the expedition difficulty, one skull, two skull, three skulls. The base morale also depends on the potential expedition expectations, such as your diplomacy, your medicine, your faith, and so on. I want you to notice something. For our archaeological expedition, you'll see that the ship of the line has a base morale of 72%, two of them. And you also see that the clipper ship, two of them, also has a 72% base morale. Let's exit this screen and look at another expedition. Same one skull, but a zoological expedition. And you'll notice something different. All of a sudden, the clipper ship has a base default morale of 92%, 92%. Our scallop, the ship of the line, ship of the line here, they still have the same 72%. But what happened here? Why did this clipper ship all of a sudden gain additional percent? And that's because certain ships have their own default power boosts. With this clipper ship, when you hover to it, you'll see that it has a navigation of 20. And this zoological expedition has a navigation likeliness. So the clipper ship gives an additional boost to this expedition. The ship of the line, when you hover to it, it does not have any navigation boost. So when we click on the clipper ship, we see that navigation has been checked. So now that we have one check mark, we can go ahead and start fulfilling these check marks. Let's start with the left to right, so rations. Rations, of course, could be any sort of food. You can put fish. But one of the best, actually, for the rations is the schnapps. Not only does it give you extra ration, but it also gives you a skill bonus per 50 tons. It gives you a bonus of medicine. So how about for hunting? Looking through your goods, there's a few items that fulfill that, which is glass. Glass will give you hunting. And if you have 50 tons of the glass, you get a skill bonus per 50, which is you get an additional 10 to your hunting. We'll talk about that in just a little bit. Now, how about for faith? There's a few items that also give it, which is your pelican, gives you a faith of 20. Now for the item socket, you can put certain things in. You can put the Vice Admiral Adams in there, it even tells you that when you hover on it, you can equip in ships. But certain items cannot be put in this item slot. It has to go into the little cargo slot. I'm going to go ahead and put more glass into the slot. You'll see it as we start progressing through the expedition, where I decided to put two. The next question you might ask is, where do you find these items? Well, some of these items, they come from doing expeditions themselves. So in the beginning, you'll need to do some more expeditions to get more items for further future expeditions. You can get items from doing quests from the NPC citizens. They show up as little star symbols around your citizen, like for example, some of these little residential quests. You can also go to various trader harbors in order to get items. Click on one of their harbor, go into items, and you can buy a, a bear here, you can buy different types of items here. If you click the reroll offered items, you can also get more different various ones, which costs you coins. Every single time you roll it, it costs you more. Alright, so let's go ahead and start our expedition. After a bit of time has passed, we'll get an indicator that tells us we need to look at our expedition. It's here that you must make some choices, and depending on your ship inventory, you have an increase or decrease chance of succeeding. As you recall, I brought two stacks of these glass. This is just to give you a, a better demonstration of what they all mean. When it says skill bonus per 50 T, hunting 10. So every one of these 50 stacks here, we get a bonus 10% to our hunting. And this, another one gives us 10% to hunting. So 10, 10 gives us 20%. For a pelican, it gives us a faith expedition bonus of 20. And here we can see that the success chance is 20%. So here let me just pick the hunting. So here's the result of that choice. Oh, you can pause it if you want to read this. 
From here, we have a few choices. Return home, continue, or provide extra rations and continue. Well, we haven't gotten anything, so we can't return home. If we continue here, it decreases our morale by 10. So usually I find it better just to give them some rations because it has a smaller penalty to morale. Let's go ahead and check out another event. So now we have a bear attack. Hunting gives us a 20% chance success. And there you go. Sometimes you get a success, sometimes you get a failure. But as you keep continuing, uh, eventually you should be able to get some rewards for your, all your trouble. What you're about to see are examples of some of the rewards that you get. These rewards are not from our previous zoological expeditions. So the reward you get will be dependent of the type of expedition. There will be times when it says your ship is overburdened. In this case, what I usually do is I throw out the soap or the fish just because they're so easy to make back at our base. And then I drag over the reward on the left hand side and take that home. So that's all for this video. I hope you found it helpful. And if you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave them in the comment section. I'm curious to know what you think of the expedition system in this game. I think it offers a nice change of pace to the game where you can change from building cities into now you're kind of following a little story. That's it. Thanks for watching and I will see y'all next time. Take care.